Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. And I now have a members-only channel with a lot of perks like live weekly workshops, live weekly group coaching, a lot of exclusive content, monthly challenges for a chance to win a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, and a lot more. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box, click on them and they're going to take you to my website or to the membership channel. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to address all of you who are manifesting your specific person and who might be intimidated by circumstances or bogged down by the old story or thinking that the situation is impossible, especially those of you who might have had a bad breakup or who might have had your SP tell you they're not interested in you, they're not attracted to you or anything else that you may consider an unfavorable circumstance and explain to you why it is actually entirely possible and extremely possible as a matter of fact that your situation is going to change, that your circumstances with your specific person are going to change. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So for all those of you who are manifesting a specific person, I know that one of the biggest challenges, if not the biggest challenge, is to get away from the 3D, to stop being bogged down by the 3D, to stop thinking about the old story, to stop giving that old story a lot of power over you and your manifestation, to stop thinking along the lines of, because this happened in the past or because my SP said this or that to me in the past, that means that it's impossible to have them again or to have them in the first place or to manifest a different version of theirs and so on. And I want you guys to get and understand and realize this concept as best as you can. Why did I say in my intro that no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what went down in the 3D or in your old story, even no matter what might be going on right now in your current 3D, if it's unfavorable to you or if it's showing something that you don't like, why it is still entirely possible for things to change and why it is actually extremely possible that things are going to change. The biggest mistake most people make when they're manifesting a specific person or anything else that matters to them is that they take everything that they don't like as final. In other words, they don't think that things can change, they don't think that things can progress, they don't think that there might be a change for the better in their situation, and to an extent that is normal because the finite human mind is actually not trained to look into the future. The finite human mind is trained to look into the past, to draw conclusions about what may be happened in the present and in the future based on what happened in the past, based on our experiences and our memories from the past. It is actually quite difficult, the way our mind is wired, for us to think that the future might hold something different to what we're actually experiencing right now, currently, with our senses. So from that perspective, you're not doing anything wrong, you are being a normal human being, However, you are able and you can train your mind to start thinking differently because experience shows us time and time again that things actually can and do change. But the first step for that to happen is for you to start believing that things can change and are possible to change. As I was just saying, the mistake a lot of people make is that they take their circumstances as final. They take things that happened in the past as final and as unchangeable. So if, for example, your specific person told you that they don't want to be with you, that they're no longer attracted to you, or that they were never attracted to you, or that they don't see you romantically, or that they don't want to speak to you again, or that they have chosen someone else over you, it can be any number of scenarios that you see as insurmountable circumstances. Where you are mistaken is that you are taking this as final. And what you need to realize in order to transcend and to overcome that mindset in favor of a mindset that thinks and believes that change is possible, a change in your circumstances is possible, is realizing that whatever went down back in the past, back in your old story, back when your circumstances first came up in your life, is that whatever happened, whatever was said, happened or was said from a certain state. 
And luckily for us, states can and do change. In other words, even if your SP told you at some point that they didn't want to be with you, that they didn't see anything serious with you, they didn't see any future with you, that they've chosen someone else, that they don't want any contact with you, that they only want to stay casual, they don't want to commit, whatever might have transpired, please, please, please realize that they said that or they did that if they did something from a certain state in which they were in at that point. It was their state at the time at that time in the past, that was reflecting, first of all, your own self-concept at the time, your own dominant state and your own dominant energy at the time. And second, it was their state that dictated their decisions, their actions, their words, and so on. But because states do change, it is entirely possible that they are going to change their mind. And what's even better, because you know now as a conscious manifester that your specific person is nothing but a mirror of yours, of your inner world, of your inner dominant states. Once your own dominant state changes, once your own inner energy, dominant inner energy shifts, chances are your specific person is also going to shift with you because they are energetically receiving you at all times and they are going to show up as a different version of themselves to match that energetic shift that has taken place within you. So next time that you are tempted to think that whatever happened in the past, whatever your circumstances are, whatever the old story was, is final, cannot change, you cannot see how it can change, remember always that whatever happened, happened from a specific state. And luckily, states can and do change, and they can and they do change all the time. Remember also that your specific person's state is going to mirror and reflect back your own state, your own dominant state, your own dominant energetic level. So chances are, whatever happened in the old story, it just mirrored and reflected your own dominant inner state at the time. Now that you're shifting your dominant inner state, now that you're shifting your dominant inner energy, you can also expect different outcomes in the 3D. You can also expect your specific person to change their state, to change their version by which they're showing up. You can expect to see movement in the 3D that matches that inner shift that you are experiencing inside. So there is nothing final. Everything always comes from a different state. All our interactions come from the state in which we're in at that point. And so if you want things to change, know that they can absolutely change. Know that it is entirely possible for them to change. In fact, know that it is extremely possible for them to change. The more you shift your inner energy, the more you shift your inner state, the more the outer world is going to change. And that includes your SP, that includes their state, that includes the version of themselves by which they present, that includes how they show up, how they treat you, how they're behaving in the 3D, and so on and so forth. So quit that mentality and that mindset of whatever happened was final, whatever happened cannot be changed, whatever happened in the past is set in stone, because it is not even true, it is not even accurate. And start thinking from the point of view of change is absolutely possible. Change is actually likely and probable. And start embodying that mindset and that mentality in your manifestation of your specific person. And realize that it was only their state who was speaking at the time when they hurt you, they said something or did something that you didn't like, they broke up with you, rejected you, whatever it was. And as your energy and your state is now shifting, their state and their energy is equally shifting as well. So nothing to fear nothing to worry about. Always remember the concept of states. Always remember energetic shifts. Always remember that once you shift energetically, the world around you also does. And keep going with your SP manifestation, knowing that it is absolutely possible for things to change for the better. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.